My name's Corporal Brent Good, First Force Reconnaissance Company. Well, I enlisted out of Memphis, Tennessee, which is a metropolitan area, but I'm actually from a small town between Jackson and Humboldt, Tennessee called Three Way. It's like a five mile stretch of highway that's, there's nothing really there but a convenience store and a gas station. So that's home. Just like anything, if you're going to do it, it's worth doing to the fullest extent that you possibly can. So I thought I'd find the toughest path and that was recon. I met my wife in a very stereotypical way at a college toga party. And uh, we talked every day after we met. It was actually on her birthday that we met. And she was very upfront with me about having a son. And once I met him, I immediately fell in love with him. She already had her, you know, her way of, of taking care of him, something that only a mother knows, you know. It was definitely an adjustment for me. And it's dealing with his needs, his specific needs, is an ever-changing event. So, you know, you learn something new every day, and he's changing every day, whether better or for worse. Um, and we have to learn to adapt with that, just like anything else in life. He generally wakes up laughing uh, in his room. That's generally when we know he's awake. And uh, he goes to school uh, here on base. Uh, he's in a special needs program, uh, same times as everybody else. And he comes home and he generally, he loves swinging. So we have a swing that we set up in our garage that's made out of spandex. And uh, he loves bouncing around in that thing. Anything where he's moving freely because he can't do that on his own. So if we can, if we can allow him to feel like he's moving freely and he's in control, that's, that's really what makes him laugh the loudest, you know. Uh, he loves watching cartoons. He particularly likes the sounds of women's voices and music. He's liked him ever since he was a baby. It's funny, he doesn't speak uh, like you and I are sitting here speaking, but he has his own way of communicating. And in a very black and, black and white way of saying it, it's, it's happy, which is laughing, or sad, which is crying. But in between that, for Taylor and myself, it, there's a way he has of communicating what he wants and what he doesn't want. And, and when he's happy, his like true joyous laugh is probably the most innately joyful thing I've ever heard. Thank mm -hmm. you.